Hello and welcome back again to Engineering Pritam. If you are following us along, today we will be exploring entirely new topic, which is the surface group. And before I start, I thought of if we can go and explore basics of surfacing in PTC Creo Parametric. Before we jump into the tools, let's first of all understand what surfacing is and then what are the industries or application of it. Unlike solid modeling, which create volumetric parts, for example, uh, these are some of popular tools that we have used and shown you how we can utilize them in our previous video. Surfacing deals with creating and modifying open and closed surfaces. Surfacing is widely used in automotive design, aerospace and industrial product development where smooth and complex shapes are required. Now let's talk about what are the different ways of creating surface in PTC Creo parametric. When we talk about PTC Creo, there are three main ways to create surface. The first one is parametric surfacing, which I'm going to say is the easiest way to create surface. Almost all solid modeling feature, for example, let's say extrude. Every solid modeling feature not only can create a solid, but uh, when we select here surface, it can also create a surface. And not only you're gonna see this capability in extrude, but I'm gonna say all these tools, for example, revolve, sweep, step blend, or blend tool, they all have capability to create uh, this kind of surfacing. The second category comes to dedicated surfacing tool. For example, this boundary blend that help us create surface using multiple curve. Then we do have this fill tool that fills a closed boundary within the surface. Then we do have this freestyle that allow free form surfacing useful for organic shapes. Then we do have advanced surfacing like style tool, which is also known as ISDX or interactive surface design extension. And that I'm gonna say is also part of advanced surfacing in PTC Creo Parametric. This is particularly useful, let's say in automotive or industry design, where smooth and curvature continuous surfaces are critical. And then here you can see the merger or mix bag of editing tools that are not only specific to the solid modeling, but also for surfacing. For example, thicken, trim, merge, extend, and so on. So this video was more of a brief introduction of what we're going to cover in our upcoming video. If you are interested in covering these topics, then I'm going to say do subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow us along in the journey where we are covering PTC Creo from zero. Also, there will be some advanced tutorial related to let's say style tool or restyle that will be part of member only content. So if you want to support this channel, which I'm going to say is only specific to handful of users, like you, you can be a member and can avail advanced topics with a fraction of a cost. And I'm excited to see you in the next one. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.